This video segment will show you the basics of working with TAP silicone RTV system. Part 1 will explain how to measure the proper ratios, and Part 2 will show you how to mix and pour a bubble-free mold. We will demonstrate how to make this simple mold. Other videos will show you how to make other types of molds. The silicone RTV system has several parts, each sold separately so that you can match the product to your specific need. The first part is the silicone base. It is an off-white, viscous liquid. In spite of its viscosity, it can reproduce intricate detail. Next, we have the hardener. The hardener is dyed blue so that you can tell when the hardener and base are thoroughly mixed. There will be no streaks remaining. The hardener has a six to eight hour cure time. The system also includes a thixotropic thickener. It is used to make blanket molds such as this. Finally, we have a thinner which can be used to reduce the viscosity of the silicone and it can also be applied to the finished mold to extend its life. This video will focus on the silicone and hardener only. The first step in mold making is to make a container to hold the mold material. Details on this process are covered in our video on how to make a mold box. Here we will use this piece as our master and use a paper cup as the container. We need to know how much silicone to mix so that we do not waste any or come up short. To do this, we will use rice. Fill the mold container and pour into a measuring cup. We could use water, but then we would have to wait for the mold to dry. Now we know we will need about six fluid ounces of silicone. Next, we add hardener. Measuring by weight is simplest and most accurate. However, you'll need a scale. We are using a simple electronic postage scale available from any office supply. It weighs in ounces and grams, and we will use the gram setting for greatest accuracy. We have already measured the volume of the silicone we need, so now we will weigh it. However, we want to weigh only the silicone, not the cup, for measuring purposes. That is simple with this scale. We take an empty cup and put it on the scale. Then we turn the scale on, and it sets the weight to zero with the cup in place. We also convert the weight to grams. Now we remove the empty cup and replace it with the cup containing silicone. The weight shown then will be for the silicone only. Our batch of silicone weighs 225 grams. The proper ratio of silicone to catalyst is 10 to 1 by weight. This ratio is the same for both the green and the blue hardeners. Since we have 225 grams of silicone, we need about 23 grams of hardener. Using the same method of weighing, we place a small empty cup on the scale. Turn the scale on and then add 23 grams of hardener. Now we can mix the hardener into the resin. Part two of this video will show you how to mix and pour the silicone without trapping bubbles which can ruin your mold. But first, let's look at the other method of measuring silicone and hardener. We have seen how to measure by weight, now we will measure by volume. We saw earlier that the mix ratio by weight was 10 to 1. The mix ratio by volume is 9 to 1. This creates an interesting challenge when we start with 6 fluid ounces of silicone and try to figure out how much 1 ninth is. There is a simple way to do it. Use a measuring container such as this that also measures in milliliters. We have 200 milliliters. Dividing by 9 gives us 22 milliliters. Now we can use a small cup to measure the proper amount of hardener. Another method for small amounts of hardener is a graduated syringe such as this one.
Now that you know how to measure the silicone, either by weight or by volume, you are now ready to mix and pour the mold. Part two of this video will explain this critical process. Chuck, Chuck Plastics, the fantastic plastic place.